Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to today's Young People's Video. Now what I'd like you to imagine for me this afternoon is that you have a twin. Now for me, that might look as something a little like this. Hello, hello. Now imagine all the cool things... It's great to be here. Do you mind? I'm trying to get on with the video here. Hmm, sorry. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, just imagine all the cool things you could do if you had a twin. For example, you would always have somebody to hang out with. You'd have somebody to play some great tricks with. Someone to play games with or go to the cinema with. And you're bound to have some similar tastes because you have, you quite, have a quite a lot, lot in, in common. common. In some ways you could even say that you are, you are the same. Oh, you got it wrong again. It's one line. How difficult is it to remember just one line out of the whole thing? I'm sorry, all right? Stop having a go at me. You're always having a go at me. <sighs> of course, as great as having a brother or sister or twin is, sometimes it can be extremely annoying. I couldn't agree more. And sometimes we just want our own space. Don't worry, I can take a hint. Oh, don't be like that. Come back. I'm sorry, all right? Well, it don't sound like you mean it. No, really, I am sorry. I should be more patient. Do you please forgive me? OK, then. I'm sorry, too. In the passage that the older ones are going to look at in church a little later this evening, we see John writing saying that we should love one another. And he particularly talks about not hating our brother's and sisters. And earlier in the letter he wrote about loving our brothers and sisters. But the thing is when John says uh, our brothers and sisters he's not talking about those who uh, we live with kind of born into our physical families. He means people that love Jesus. Now that might mean people that are very different to us. They may be older or younger. They may have different likes and dislikes. Just think about everyone that there is in church. We are all completely different. Apart from one important thing. We love, we Jesus, love Jesus because, because he, died he died for, for us. us. John said that this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. 1 John 3.16 that is how much we should love one another, and that is how much Jesus loved us. As with all things, he should be our example, and we should show his love to others. I'm going to say a prayer now, and it would be great if you would join in by saying Amen at the end. Shall we pray? Dear Lord, how we thank you that Jesus loved us so much that he gave his life for us so that we could be forgiven and enjoy a relationship with you. Please help us to show that same love to others, and may we especially show our love to Jesus for all that he has done for us. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for joining with us this afternoon. We're going to finish by singing, Let There Be Love Shared Among Us. Goodbye. Goodbye. Us 
brotherly love.